I'm the Juvious Nerd. Welcome to my channel. Today we're playing I Expect You to Die 2. We're going to be playing the tutorial and then doing a bit of messing around in the van. All right. Okay, here we go. Agent, can you hear me? Yes, I oh, can. Don't worry. The briefcase is safe. Do you remember what happened? Briefcase? Ah, uh, your memory might be a bit patchy from the attack. Well, take all the time you need. You're back at headquarters and you're perfectly safe. You'll find a tape on the desk in front of you. Load the tape into the projector console on your right. Now, I imagine you might recognize that bomb disposal device in front of you from your time as a cadet. In fact, it, given the wear and tear, it might be the same one. Well, I'm sure it still works. Now, let's see. How do I... Ah, uh, yes, there it goes. Oh, just a bit further. Right, disarm this bomb, oh. if you would. <laughs> Wonderful, yes. Next, the machine should dispense a grenade for you. Ah, there it is. Let's use it to test out. Eh? You've got it. Why don't you pick it up and bring it closer? Now, try using your telekinesis to hover the grenade nearby. Yes, exactly. Good, your telekinesis is still working. <laughs> I hear that when those things malfunction, it's usually very messy. Now to dispose of that grenade. Use your telekinesis to place it inside the blast chamber. Shut the door and then pick up that remote detonator so you can explode the chamber's contents. We haven't got all day, Agent. Yeah, yeah, I know. Open the door, gently yeah, yeah. place the grenade inside, and then shut it. Oh, hell yeah. Good. Good. For your final test, you will need to dispose of three more explosives hidden around the examination room. Good luck. I left you a list, so you know what you're looking for. I suggest you hover the clipboard nearby, so you can refer to it as you conduct your search. Search the exam room, Agent. Right. Find and dispose of every explosive. Well, I already found one. Got a big old Zaratus logo on it, too. Well done!
Search the exam room, Agent. Find and dispose of every explosive. I've got everything under control. This van isn't as luxurious as your old office, but we can't let Zoraxis know you survived your last mission. You've got a knack for putting a wrench in Dr. Zor's plans, so Zoraxis employees may not react kindly if they recognize you. On the bright side, now you've got a mini-fridge. As usual, Zoraxis Corporation is up to something vile and nefarious, but we haven't been able to figure out what. The Prime Minister is certainly making himself a target. Keep an ear to the radio agent. You never know what they might let slip. Now, your briefing materials should be arriving any second. Ah, where's that blasted courier? Ha! Speak of the devil. Take the cartridge from the tray on your right and load it gently into the cartridge viewer in front of you. Thank you. 
his stance on the new initiative by Zorax's defense, the Prime Minister of the Mediterranean Commonwealth has this to say. I'll say it again. I don't trust Zoraxis. If they want to operate here, they'll have to get through me first. Hmm. Welcome to another installment of Zoraxis Presents. Today's guest needs no introduction. We've all seen it on the big screen and the red carpet. He's the best in the business. And many fellow A-listers agree. With him in your movie, you'll forget it's all just a performance. Please help me welcome Mr. John Juniper. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. All the pleasure is ours, Mr. Juniper. Now, let's start with the thing everyone's so curious about. The mask technique. Can you tell us how it works? Oh, yes. Everyone always wants to know about the masks. <laughs> well, in order to do my best work, I need to become the character. I need to submerge myself completely. So, whenever I get a new part, I commission a new mask. I'm very particular about them. Each mask needs to really capture the essence of the character. Then, I'll take a few weeks to prepare for the role. During that time, I don't take off the mask. Then, on Is day one of the shoot, I remove my episode? mask. Sir. And I emerge as the character. So, a bit like method acting, then? No, absolutely not. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, do you have a favorite mask? <laughs> oh, no, no, I could never pick. All the... For my latest project, I've been working yeah, on... Yeah, yeah, show it. She can be... Well, we don't always see eye to eye, but I've got to admit, the masks she's making for me are on a whole different level. Hey. What a marvelous way to put it. Well, your family wasn't in show business, were they? Show business? Oh, no, no, no. No, not since the accident. <laughs> kidding, kidding. No, they're uh, very happy living their simple little lives out of the spotlight. I assume we don't really talk. So, you wouldn't say that acting's in your blood, then? Intriguing. Oh, I wouldn't say that. It was mostly natural talent that got me to where I am today. Looks like my first agent used to say, it takes a special kind of person to become an actor. Most people just don't have what it takes. Of course, of course. Feel Would you say numb. your enormous success in the entertainment industry is important to you? Well, of course. Success is everything. It's the only thing that makes a person worth something. Anyone Yikes, that tells you otherwise dude. is lying to themselves. If anything's so wrong, I feel like enough. When you've done as much for the industry as I have, that spark, that thrill gets harder and harder to find. You've got to find a way to go big. So then, what would you say to your critics? Those who say that you've reached your peak. Do you feel that your best performance is still ahead of you? <laughs> is that what they're saying? Well then, to the critics. You haven't seen anything yet. Well, there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mr. Juniper. When we return, we've got something special for you folks at home. You'll be listening to John Juniper as the title character in the thrilling radio dramatization of Rex Mason, Super Spy. But first, a word from our sponsors. Legs! They can really take you places. What? How far is too far? All the aches and the pains? You need a pair of C pads. The new electric massage pads. Developed by our friends at Zoraxis R. Oh, great! And the radio station is sponsored by Zoraxis. Nine vibrating discs are hand sewn into each pair of these invigorating garments. The pants relax the wearer's yeah. hips and thighs, providing relief where other electric massage pants don't. Always remain seated during use. Feel so no more with the help of Zoraxis. Order yours, our access smarty pants today. I think I'm allowed to be suspicious. Welcome 